so beautiful. Oh! Oh my god! I find myself in the studio this afternoon and I'm working on this oil painting. It's more of a fun sketch, I'd say, a side project where I hastily sketched butterflies with one color and this was last December when I lived with my family. I remember before hot pot, I was waiting for everyone to put out the raw ingredients. I was very hangry and I just started making all of these shapes. And now I thought, why not start layering all the colors back on to see where it will go? Just a no strings attached painting. It's the weekend and overall I'm feeling a lot better but my mom convinced me to go to the ER just to get it checked out in case we should probably rule out any serious problems or infections. So everything went well, there was nothing wrong that is dangerous right now other than... Oh! Hello! I didn't realize Prairie was in here. Cutie. They're saying there's no ear infection, no fever, anything dangerous that would need like a scan. The only thing they could have really done for me is to prescribe a stronger painkiller, but I felt like it's already slowly reducing every day the more sleep I get, so we're gonna let it run its course. So it is probably just mostly stress, and it's not even, I'm thinking back, it's not even that specific day, but probably just the accumulation of all of these months of always doing something like it's great to be living out here and having a lot of things to do and like a lot of hobbies that I intertwine with work throughout the week I'm like doing something every day I'm always like running late sometimes like enough is enough and it's okay if I take it slower or I feel like I'm accomplishing less if it means I'm just like living and my stress levels are just lower like, a lot of times I would like really try to fit in a martial arts class for example but then I would really want to see my friend on the only day they're free I would like wipe up in the locker room and then run to the next appointment I'm gonna tell myself moving forward like come on it doesn't hurt to put things off a little bit I have to show you Prairie she is so cute I have my guess what I can't find my tripod these days so I had you on my cookie butter they rarely use the hole inside the castle because it's kind of hot in this apartment and I took out the AC Apparently. Oh, she's snoring. She's really deeply asleep. I will not bother her. I have finally made rice. I wasn't always really crazy about rice. I'm a noodle person. So for dinner, I have rice and some pickled radish, as well as some, what is this, like, bean sprout that I sauteed. Then I have some kung pao. It looks like kung pao, but it's actually not. I have chickpeas and a bunch of vegetables in it, and I just mixed a bunch of stuff inside without thinking, such as black bean paste, and some soy sauce, and some sesame oil. It's very salty and fragrant. I've been just getting takeout rice from the closest Chinese restaurant, but no offense, but their rice kind of sucks. And I do prefer my rice just like a little bit on the plush, uh, like sticky side and I made plenty so that maybe the leftover I can make fried rice If you hear some sort of faucet running, that's the sound of the radiator I have no control over it because a lot of older buildings are heat with steam It feels really good to be cuddling with my kitties right now and it's so cute that they're both on the bed I don't know, they just don't really cuddle and when it gets cold enough, they'll start actually cuddling and that's the cutest thing. They have like this love-hate relationship. But in general, they get along. They play every day. I want to take this minute to thank the sponsor of this video, which is BetterHelp. If you haven't heard of BetterHelp, they're an online platform for therapy. And I've been using BetterHelp for eight-ish months now. I love that you can do it anytime, anywhere, because you access it online, so it could be on your phone. If I travel for the holidays, um, I can still keep on my routine, and it's really flexible with the scheduling. They make it really easy and free to switch counselors if that's necessary, and it's also more affordable than traditional therapy. They offer financial aid. It's quick to get started, so under 48 hours, you will be matched to someone based on 
the questionnaire that you fill out and I especially appreciate my therapist for also reaching out via the chat platform midweek just to see how I'm doing. You get 10% off your first month if you use this link betterhelp.com slash Annabelle to get started and thank you again BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. Today is a lot of catching up on work for a collaboration I'm doing with RedUp and I'm gonna thrift thrift flip this purse and another purse I have inside and I'm really excited for it. I look at my peach earrings. I, I've been doing a lot of cleaning these days and I dug these up from a box and I'm so happy that I found them because they're blown glass. Look how clear this table is. I still have some things that needs to find out where to go. Very decluttered converted before. Still have to figure out that stuff and that stuff. I'm so proud that I got what I needed to be finished, finished. And don't worry, don't worry. I will show you more, some, some more paint process, okay? Because I have another half to go. Now that I'm confident I got one side down, I know how, you know, the paint mixing is gonna go next time, what to expect, and I would definitely actually vlog it. But I'm having my late dinner right now, and I thought, why not treat the kids? to something real nice. Guess what, babe? I am gonna switch out your scratch pad. First, let's turn on the light so we can see a little better. Guess what mommy has for you? So, I'm a cheap hippo and I don't switch out the scratch pads until it's absolutely necessary. And I flipped them. Um, I have this giant rubber band holding two together, so they have like a mega scratch pad essentially. Puppies! Guess what? What's this? What's this? And they are still in desperate need of a vertical scratching post. Cats need a horizontal and a vertical. It's their instinct, like for example, on a tree bark. Yeah, it's time. Oh yeah. The first scratch. Oh! I am so sorry. How did the rubber band get all the way over there? That has never happened before. And of course, the one time I vlog, it, it won't happen again, okay? Really glamorous morning. I cleaned the bathroom. I did the dishes, just a lot of housekeeping. I got ready so that I could take some photos and then I have to rush over to the studio to finish painting and then I promise that I will show you the process of that today. You love me? If you love me, you love me. Cause I'm wild, wild at heart Man, it is so nice to have a little bit of sun! It hits this window just right More so than it did in the winter and spring Hey, I can see my shadows Okay so I have lunch here. Feels real good to have leftovers.
In Central Park, only the boulders are natural. What? All of the trees were placed here by the, like the park architects. Wait, so it's just a bunch of rocks before? Okay, go ahead. Such a nice evening to be on a stroll. What a beautiful street. Lilith had an appointment in Midtown, so we met up and walked together. We saw the cutest dog there. We also saw a Christmas tree riding a bicycle. And then we went home and made burgers. Her partner also stayed with us, but he's camera shy, so he's not there. And I told Lilith all about how awesome the park was and she said I had to see this in person so the two of us went out on a morning stroll together. I see chunky squirrels everywhere. We did our own thing for a little while and I met up again with Lilith and her mans at night. I call him RC, okay? And he suggested that we try out this skewers hot pot place in Flushing. So the three of us drove out there and it's so aesthetic. It's called Malu Bian Bian, which translates to the side of the road and the interior is decorated like the outside with a sky and street signs, a crosswalk, street lamp, and really realistic paintings everywhere, which I was really enthralled with. How it works is you pay for the soup base. This was $19 for what we selected. And then in the fridge, you just go and pick however many skewers you want. Each of them costs 60 cents. So there's different amounts depending on veggie and meats, like whatever is more expensive. And then we just cook it right into the pot. And I guess the skewers makes it really easy to do that. You just eat it off. And then at the very end, they just count the sticks and pay the price accordingly. Very elegant to-go container, you see? And yeah, thank you RC for suggesting this yummy dinner. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I hope that you enjoyed it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. I'm just dropping in here to let you know that next week I'm coming back with December Daily. I'm gonna do that this year. And if there's anything you wanna see specifically in the series, let me know as well. So I'll see you very soon. And until then, please take care. Ready, Bambi? I have a treat for him. Was it good? Was it good? Mm. Of course you get it too, but she doesn't run for it. She'll never run for it.